So in this brief tutorial we're going to talk about V-Ray for Rhino. V-Ray is one of the best rendering engines, uh, in my opinion, for uh, rendering in Rhino. And uh, the reason why I like it so much is, is because it's so flexible and it offers a lot of uh, uh, different options that are uh, quite easy to use and quite intuitive so you don't need to have very extensive knowledge of the program. Uh, in this sample scene uh, is just one uh, project of mine that I was working on. So I just wanted to demonstrate here how uh, VRA works in Rhino. In this icon here, it says Asset Editor. It's where you can start the VRA. And then you have uh, multiple options here. Uh, on the top is Settings, then it's uh, Geometry. Here is Lighting. Here is Materials that you can use. And here is the render button where you start your rendering. Uh, this one is a VRA frame buffer and it's uh, the window where uh, all your uh, rendering will occur. I'll just demonstrate very quickly now what a VRA offers. I actually set up the scene already. I have the, the dome light here, which will uh, actually light up the scene. And I put some materials onto this uh, geometry. So now let's just test it to see uh, the result that we, we come, up, come up with. I will turn on the interactive mode. Uh, this means that I will be able to see the rendering in real time. And then I just hit the render button here. And now in a minute the uh, rendering will show up. So as you can see, while I'm rotating I'll be able to see what's going on in the scene. I already put some uh, materials in the scene there and I put some damage geometry just to show you the effect. What we don't see here is that the ground is black so in order to fix that we would need to go here and use a VRA uh, infinity plane which is this button we just click it and now we have the plane which gives us a, a, a lot more clarity on the rendering itself. I just wanted to quickly show you how you can change the materials in the array. You can actually click on the geometry. You go to materials here and then there is this small arrow button on the left that you can click and you already have the library of a lot of different materials that the array has. So for example, let's try with metal aluminium bronze so we can just use it at the scene and now it's there because the object is selected you just go right click add material to selection and you will see that the scene will change so now you have the we can even zoom in closely to see what's going on you can see the material there the reason why i like very so much because it's as i said very flexible the results are quite fast you can use it uh, in many different occasions. You can use it for architectural uh, projects, you can use it for um, custom uh, product design and product development projects, you can use it in different interest industries and it's, it's one of the reasons why uh, I use it because it just adds a lot of flexibility to the workflow that I, that I use. I'll just change a little bit <coughs> the other materials as well. And here we can add glass, for example. Uh, let's add some glass. Crystal glass. Add scene. Here it is. Right click. Add material to selection. So, so that's uh, that's basically, uh, in short, what the V-Ray is all about. Of course, there's a lot more uh, to it. There's a lot more um, setting up to do the correct lighting and correct materials and uh, to have the best possible results. Uh, there's different options. For example, the one that we used was interactive. And if you want to go to with the production scene, you want to use something else. You can change the quality, the camera angle, environment, render outputs. You can even add render channels, etc., etc. Uh, thanks for watching.